There she goes again, chasing down my lane, and I'll just get to the this feeling that may Chance. Won't you please let me back in your heart? Oh, darling, I was blind to let you go. Now that I see you in his arms, I want you back. Oh, oh, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, uh, honey. I want you back. And all I want to do is have some fun. some fun until the sun comes up over Santa Monica Boulevard Hey guys, what's up? Christine here. I keep getting asked what um, what harmonizer pedal that I use on my rig, so I just decided that I would show you a few examples of the pedal that I use and what songs I use it on. I use the Boss VE2. Um, I know there's a lot of really good ones out there, but this is the one that jumped out to me. I did a lot of research on it, and the review said that the vocals, um, the harmony sounded the most natural on this pedal. And I agree, I think it sounds really good. Um, it takes a little bit of tinkering with and getting used to, but that's basically the same all across the board with any piece of gear that you get. Um, I do really like the reverb on this pedal. So that's, um, that's a huge thing. It sounds so crisp and good. And then I also really like um, keeping it set at a third below on the harmony, because for me and my tone of voice, that's what sounds the best in my opinion. And then also you can choose whether to put the pedal on the key that you're playing in, or you can have it track the guitar chords that you play. And I just keep it on tracking the guitar chords that I play. And it really gives me, I think, a pretty natural, um, smooth sounding harmony. And I've been pretty happy with it. So I just kind of wanted to drop in and show you guys what I've been using. Um, I'll give you a quick look right here on how it sits on my board and how it hooks up to my looper. All right, this is the Boss VE2. Like I said, it's the smallest footprint for me on my board that would sit nice. And this is how it hooks up. So you plug your guitar in here, and then this is where my mic gets plugged in. And then it comes out of the XLR out, and it goes into, let me raise this up, goes into the input on my Boss RC600 for my um, mic input. But, real quick back to this, like I said, it's really got a lot of features, but for me, I like to sit it at a third below. And for, I also kinda wanna say that I feel like less is more with vocal harmony pedals. Um, here's where the balance is, cause you can adjust how much harmony you have in your mix. And I keep mine fairly low because I just want you to hear it enough to where your ear is pleased by it. And then you got reverb, reverb and delay. And then I know you can't see it really well right here, but you got some more like major delay right there. But I, I like it on the reverb. It sounds nice and crisp. It's really good. Um, I liked it so much that, that it, this is mainly what I use period on my rig. I don't use any of the effects on the RC600. And then also this right here is an enhance button. Now I leave it off. Um, I only have it on to do like uh, the compression I think that it offers. But when you go green, this is basically an auto correct. So like an auto tune. Yeah, don't do that. Just sing stuff that you're confident you can hit and sing well. This right here can give you a variation of harmonies. I don't like, I don't like that. I just leave it off. And then you can store memories 
um, settings on here, whether you want, you know, a third below on this one, a top harmony on the next one. Like I said, I don't mess with that. I just keep it on a third below. And this is where you can choose whether or not it tracks your guitar or if you want to choose what key you're playing in. All right, well, I hope this helped you guys out a little bit. And if it did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.